Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to crochet this lovely stitch. As I remember, uh, I think I did mention, uh, I went to the bank with my husband and this lady came. She was wearing a top like this. It was like a vest top. And she was wearing this uh, stitch. <laughs> I looked at the stitch and I said, oh my goodness, it, it looks so nice. She was wearing a gray. She she said uh, she crocheted with uh, gray yarn and it was uh, bamboo yarn. So I asked her which yarn she has uh, used and she kindly told me. And she said, it's a very, very easy stitch and this stitch is on YouTube. Okay, so I came home and I looked, I looked, I looked, I couldn't find it. And finally, I did find it, so I would love to thank Tamanya, Tamamanya. Yeah, I really appreciate for her to crochet this stitch. So, um, like she said, it's very easy, and uh, this is how it's done. This is the exactly stitch that I have saw. If I had a crochet hook with me, I was just going to start crocheting, but unfortunately I didn't. You know, you, you should always carry your <laughs> whips with you. And then, yeah, so I came home and I found the stitch. So today I am going to show you how to crochet this lovely stitch. And uh, yeah, so uh, while I'm going to show you how to crochet the stitch, I'm going to show you how to measure uh, one of your sweaters, one of your cardigans, whichever you want to start with. This stitch it can be done in anything, uh, baby blankets, baby tops for adults. So I'm going to start for myself and I did went and purchased the yarn. So I'm going to share it with you. So let's get started. Grab the desired yarn you, you, will, you want to crochet with and uh, just look at the label on the yarn. It would show you where, uh, which crochet hook to to use so I will show you as well on my yarn so let's get started and I'll just grab my yarn and we'll start this lovely stitch here is the yarn that I have purchased it's called Noko Hoshgaldin soft okay it's super soft that's the reason I wanted this and because uh, I touched her vest and it was gorgeous I said oh my goodness so it is 60% bamboo and 40% pollen mine. Okay, as you know, all handmade should be washed by hand and dried, laid, laid down and then dried. So I would highly recommend never put your handmade items in the washer machine. Okay, the, uh, the color of this yarn is 704853. If you go and pur purchase it uh, from Etsy, they, they are selling this yarn. Uh, if you go to Etsy and then, well, even if you put this name Nako Hoshgad in soft, you will see the people that are selling it. So that would be no issue at all. Or you can go to iceyarn.com. They are selling the same yarn, but it's the label is different. Like I, I always say, these yarns come from one factory and every company like Nako, um, you know, other companies, they just put their own label. Like, I can buy this yarn and then put my own label. Like, I could put Bufat yarn and then I could sell it. So, uh, these are all come from the same company. And, uh, so I would, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Like, you can search and then find all the yarns that you want. Like every site sells their yarn. So just look at the label and I would like to share you my new ring that I have purchased at the bazaar in Kumla. It's a little town. It's a tourism town and there's lots of people that sell one-of-a-kind things. So I just wanted to show and it is glass. Oops. It is made so it's glass. Just wanted to put it on this finger like this. <laughs> bad evil get get away from bad people bad words anything that is negative <laughs> stay away from me <laughs> okay okay let's go back and then it shows you which crochet hook to use it says 2.5 but again whichever you are comfortable with if you are a tight crocheter I would recommend uh, to crochet with a higher crochet hook 
if you are a loose crochet crochet with a smaller crochet hook like if you are a tight crochet use something bigger than 2.5 and if you're a loose crochet lose something smaller than 2.5 just to give you an idea okay i i believe the weight for this is a two weight because it's it's not that bulky at all so i would say a two it doesn't say here but the way i see it okay so if even if you have something at home you can just use the yarn that you have even as the you know a crochet thread would work and it says you're all natural yeah i don't want I want something natural to my skin because I sweat a lot. Okay, oh, this one came out easy. Okay, so I'm just going to start uh, pulling my yarn. And I bought 10, I'm sorry. So I bought 10 balls just in case. So I'm going to control my, uh, uh, my yarn while I'm crocheting this. And there's always tricks to do that. If you see you don't have enough yarn, you can shorten the length. If you have, if you see you have a plenty of yarn, you can, you know, make it uh, use more yarn. Okay, I'm a plus size. That's why I bought a ten, and I'm just, I just gonna use up the ten. <laughs> okay, so here is the end of the yarn, and I'm just gonna grab my crochet hook, and I'll be right back. I got to I forgot to mention that this is a hundred gram ball. It looks small, but it's not. It is a hundred gram, and let me see. Yeah, it's a hundred gram, and it's two hundred and thirty meters. So I believe it's over two hundred and thirty yards. Okay. Uh, before we start, I just want to mention that this um, stitch is created by two rows. So I'm not counting this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I am using what the recommended needle size, 2.5 millim. So on the eight, try to pull that tight as you can. Okay. So we're gonna do a puff stitch. To do a puff stitch, not on this one, but on the seventh chain. I am going to go so one. So we're supposed to do six total of six. Two, three, four. I think I did extra. I don't know what I did there. Let me just restart again. So one, two, three. Four, five. I think six is too much for this. Okay, let's try it. So pull it once. Oh my goodness, my yarn just split. <laughs> Cause I'm taping. Okay, and then. Then I'm going to secure it and make a single crochet. Okay, I don't like this at all. It's split. It just can you see it? Yeah, just be careful. I grab all of the yarn. It happens. Okay, so again I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And this is how it looks like. And then tight that last eight and then pull. And then make a puff stitch on the seventh chain. Six times two, three, four, five. And six and hold this part like this and pull it at once oh it splits it's the first time I'm working with this yarn uh, I might need to change my crochet hook Let me 
just yeah I'm just gonna change my crochet hook and then see because when you see that it's splitting that means that it's it's too small well that's how I figure it out I don't know so I'm gonna grab my three mil crochet hook Just to give you a tip, I think I, I'm more comfortable with the three millim crochet hook. See? So, go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you hear the kitty, kittens? <laughs> Oh my goodness, there must be like over 20 kits, uh, cats in the neighborhood. And this uh, this one had a baby. Well, kittens. Okay, yeah, it's way better, as you can see, with the three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And tighten the last one. And the cats are all fighting. <laughs> And the kittens are, I guess, trying to go between the cats. <laughs> so funny. Three, four, five, and six. Pull all at once. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bamboo is super soft and it's uh, just, yeah, haven't, so I think, I think this, well, no, I did work with bamboo before, but it's been a while, I guess, and this is how it looks like. So, this is the first row, and then you just do is you crochet eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the eight, you tighten it, and then you make six total of six times on the seventh chain here one two three four five six okay so I'm gonna crochet this as long as I want and I will show you how to measure uh, Measure yourself with one of your tops that you, you, you wear comfortably. So this is how you do, do. This is the first row and the second row. I will show you back. I will measure. I will crochet as long as. And then I will uh, do the second row. I will come back to show you how to do the second row. Okay, so this is the sweater that I would like. I am going to be crocheting because my measurements are perfect for me to crochet a top. So I am just going to do, I'm going to do one piece. So I'm not going <laughs> to do several pieces front, back, um, like that. So I'm just going to do one piece because it's very light and I'm sure it, would, it wouldn't be no problem. So I did crochet. So this is how it's going to be when you look at it. It's going to be like this. So this would be the front, it would be open, and I'll put down uh, pearl buttons. If I want to button it up, I would. If not, just for decorations, it would be closed up with the buttons. So on the edges, I'm going to make a border to do that. Okay, so let's pretend this is the last. Let me go back here. Okay, let's pretend this is the last. I'm just going to move this sweater. So. You got the drill, right? You got, you, you understand it. So it's going to be one piece crocheted. And if I have enough uh, yarn, I will do the sleeves. <laughs> if not, it's just going to be straight going up. And then I will, I will make another video when I, because uh, I'm planning to crochet the sun while we're flying back to Turkey. Because so from Istanbul to, um, to Montreal it's a 10 hour flight non-stop with Turkish Airlines so that's what I'm planning to do that's what I wanted to start before I go and I will do 
uh, I will show you how to do the underarms. So two, three, four, five, six, okay? So six chain, and then from here, we're going to chain two, three, four, five chain extra, and I'm gonna go yarn over two times. So we're going to use this technique and I'm going to make a, I'll show you how, I don't know what this is called, triple die, I don't know. So first I'm going to pull it up like one loop and then two and then another two and another two. So it's going to be high. Okay, again, two times yarn over. So I'm going to make a total of six of these. If you know what this is called, please put it on the comments so I will uh, know what to say next time. Okay, yarn over. So continue crocheting like this. My total of six. And I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, the, it tapes only 16 minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> so, okay, so I did my second, so I'm going to do my third. Okay, just like this. I'm going to go in between, then pull one. Pull twice, pull twice, pull twice. So three times we'll pull twice and then again. I need to put on my glasses. It's so hard to see. I got new glasses. This yarn, it has a couple of strands, splits, but it's super soft, so two, two, two. Okay, so we have two, four, one, it's soft, so that's the reason I chose this yarn. One, they have different colors as well, two, 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 again, I I think five, six. This is the six, I believe. So one, two, two, two. Okay, so we have two, four, six. With the chain, it's like seven. If you want it wider, you can chain longer, but I think this is enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go yarn over. I'm going to skip here with no chains or nothing. So right here, I'm going to repeat. Remember we had uh, seven here. One, two, two, two. So one, two, two. One, two, two, two. Okay, so I have a total of three, and this is how it looks like so far. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do the remaining three on each chain, just like this. So one, two, two, three times two, two. Twice yarn over. So one, two, two, two. So this is the second and last one. Again, one, two, two, two. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Ta-da! Doesn't this look neat? Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so without chaining, we're going to jump, jump where the chains are. So here, did I do two? No, I didn't. I only did one yarn over. So don't forget two times yarn over. Makes it taller. And it separates from the bobble, uh, from the fluff, uh, puff stitch. So this is row is just like this. We do three, and in between there's five, uh, four chains. Okay, I forgot. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> did you hear the rooster? That new rooster never stops. <laughs> so one, two, two, two. Okay. Again, twice. One, two, two, two. Okay, one, two, three, four chains. And then you do Oh, I, oh, I keep on forgetting. I'm so sorry. This is a new stitch, so I, this is the first time I am crocheting because I wanted to use the yarn while I started. And uh, this is new to me. This stitch is new to me. So one, two, two, two. Okay, so continue crocheting like this. And when you, you just skip without chains, but in the between you do four chains. And I will meet you at the end to finish the row uh, to make the next border. And then we'll start the third row on how to crochet this lovely puffity puff stitch. Okay, so I am at the end. I did my six triple crochet, I guess. I don't know what these are called. I, I'm not familiar with names. So this is how it looks like. It did shrink. I measured it. So... Yeah, it, it does shrink. So maybe I will turn this into a baby blanket because it is reversible. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. We'll see. I knew bamboo stretches a lot, but this is crochet, so I will see. Um, my plan is to make myself a top, but yeah. I'm not going to frog this and restart it. I'm just going to continue. Okay, so after do as I as I said, this is done on just two rows. So on the third row, so we're gonna start doing the these puff st stitches. So after the six uh, triple crochet, I'm gonna just say triple crochet, and then I'm gonna chain one, turn my work. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do single crochets on each of these babes that we see. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so chain one. Here I am going to make, let me just move these so you won't get distracted. So here I'm just going to make the puff stitch again. Just pull it to like regular how you did. And then here... On the same spot I am going to make, uh, not here actually, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to make a puff stitch to do that. Go yarn over. So on this uh, same, where we did the single crochet, I'm going to do, so this is two, three, four, five and six. Okay, so I hold this part and I pull it at once and I do a single crochet on top and that's how it's done. So here I'm going to make a total of six single crochets. So one and two and while I'm doing that my puff stitch slides and it goes just underneath one each other. So two, three, four, 
five on six, okay? I'm creating this because because uh, on the, the following uh, row, I'm going to make three, three of these triple crochets on top. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here I'm just gonna jump to this, uh, the first, the next one, and I'm gonna make a single crochet. I'm gonna chain one, and again, I'm gonna make a puff stitch, just like this. As you can see, two, three, four, five, six, hold it like this, go pull it at once, yeah, it's a very soft yarn and it does split unfortunately, but I still don't care, I'm looking for the <laughs> end result, okay, and then pull it at once and make a single crochet. And then go to the next one and then make six total of six single crochet so this is all to this and it's as you can see it's a very easy and it looks beautiful look at it and it, it is reversible see so I would highly recommend for a baby blanket two three four and five and go to the next one make a single crochet chain one and then create a puff stitch just like this two three four five six if you don't want to hold it like this you can just pull all it at once and then make a single crochet and then you can do that too, but for some reason, I I don't know, I've been doing, I've been holding it and then pulling it once. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is all to it. So I will let you crochet all the way to the end and I will show you again how to make the second row that we're repeating those two rows on the following, on the following, and then I will weave this end And I'll come back to show you the the fourth row on this particular lovely, lovely, love. Oh my goodness, it looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'll come back to show you. Okay, so I made my last puff stitch, just like this. And I am going to lay it down here and I'm going to make single crochets all the way. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. This last one. So I'm going to chain five to go up, So, because I'm going to make these triple crochets, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over twice. And on the first, pull it once, pull it twice 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 so I'm just gonna repeat the second row as what we did and that's all to it like I said this uh, this stitch is created in two rows I think I did it at two 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 because we want this to look longer One, two, two, and two. Four. The fifth. One, two, two, two. Okay, so we did total of six. And now I'm just going to jump like we did on the second row and then make a total of three on top of the single crochets. Two, 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 just like this. Okay. 
Okay, I am sorry. Here we go. So one, two, oops, two and two. Again. And in between, we're going to do the five, uh, four chains, remember? Two, two, two. Okay, so we did the three. So one, two, three, four. The chains on the following row, we make these uh, single crochets. So one, two, two, three, and two, and then make just like this. So when we're doing the two through two sets, we do the four chain. But when we jump on top of the puff stitch, we don't chain anything. We just skip to the first single crochet and then we create triple crochets chain like there's no chain between and this is how it looks like so far doesn't this look nice so I hope you like this uh, short tutorial just wanted to share you before I start this new stitch that I found out it's new to me I don't know if anyone else seen it there's so many stitches and it's hard to choose which one to uh, to start with. So uh, I've been messaging with Rosa. She's the lady who uh, ordered yarn from me. About 40 skins I shipped to her. So she's asking me to do tutorials. One, two, three, four. She's asking me to do tutorials on rugs and uh, how to crochet rugs. I have so many in my mind and it's uh, really hard to decide which one to start with so I will be doing rugs and bags <laughs> so many bags out there I already did two I believe Okay, so this is all to it, and then we jump, and we just repeat what we did. Just like this. So this is the main two rows, how to crochet the stitch, and then you can make it as long as you want, as wide as you want, as I showed. And it's uh, very nice. So if you like this tutorial, please give me the thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. And I did extra here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you like this tutorial, share it with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Um, Let's say if you forgot, here's the trick. Let's say if you forgot to do the two, you know, two, you just go between and then you make that extra one that you forgot instead of, you know, if you're lazy like me. <laughs> Let's say instead of doing two, you forgot. There's, that, there's a trick to do that, as I just showed. Uh, there's so many tricks. Yeah, and if you subscribe to my channel, click the gray button, uh, the bell button to turn it to gray, and then it will give you that bell. Uh, you know, when you bell every time I uh, post a post a, what you call it <laughs> new tutorial or no new video, you will be notified. And this is the so the two sides are reversible. Yes. Doesn't this look nice? It looks so neat. And then you just go and then you jump. And on the following row we do the single crochets on top and do the puff stitch. stitch. Just lay it like this as we did on the previous row. So again, if you like this tutorial, please share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting!